CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. Why is this capsule so thick and elastic? Have you seen this rare variation in capsule anatomy? Now, this is a quiz where I need your help. I don't know what the answer is. A viewer sent in this video of a seemingly routine cataract surgery. You can see there's some central nucleosclerosis there. And so this patient has about 20 out of 200 vision. Making up pairs and teases there, another small pair there, and maybe a third one here. And the question was, why is this capsule acting so strange? And so let's watch the video here I'm going to show you. It's an unusual case, and I've not seen something like this in a long time. It's a case where the capsule is going to be very thick and elastic. And so here, getting an AC maintainer inside the eye. And then now, here comes the rexus. And again, please leave a comment below if you've seen something like this. If you understand what's going on here, teach me, teach us. So here through the side port is the cystotome, starting off with the rexus. And watch carefully here, poking in. And look, the whole lens wants to move. The whole lens wants to move. A little harder to poke in than expected. And this is a sharp cystotome. And so you can see this movement of the whole lens capsule, the wrinkling there. And the lens capsule right here appears really thick. Very thick. Doesn't behave kind of normally. Now, things are going to be thrown off here a little bit by that AC maintainer. So instead of using viscoelastic, surgeons are using an AC maintainer. So that's going to cause, obviously, that capsule to flop around a little bit. But watch now as it switches over to micro caps rexus forceps and fixating the eye here with the conge. And let's see here the micro forceps going inside. And watch the motion as the rexus is torn. So grabbing it here. Now, look, it just kind of doesn't want to tear. It seems so thick. Look at that, how it gives each way, just kind of gets stuck. And again, this is an experienced surgeon who's done a lot of surgery already. And it's just an unusual case. And the question for me was, well, have you seen something like this? And I said, I have seen it in the past. It's been a long time. We've seen those rare patients with a, you know, double ca anterior caps. I've seen that before. We've seen the very anterior insertion of zonular fibers, which I've had in cataract coach here in the last year. We've also seen patients with a lot more common fibrotic lens capsule. But this is none of those. And watch, as it's torn here, look at that. It just has a resistance there. It seems very elastic and very thick. Now, it would have been nice to have the AC full of viscoelastic as well as having the anterior lens capsule stained with tripan. As you know, the tripan blue not only stains the capsule, it also makes it less elastic. But here, watch, as the rexus continues, it's just a strange behaving tissue. And again, I'm not sure exactly why this happens. And it's something that's pretty rare. Now look, even trying that little maneuver, it doesn't want to work. Again, a very thick and elastic capsule. And you know, normally the anterior lens capsule is supposed to be about 14-ish microns at the thinnest. Posterior lens capsule is only about four microns at its thinnest. But here, just taking so long for an experienced surgeon just to finish the rexus here. Unusual case. And that's, okay, that's a lot of squirting. Thanks for your scrub tech, very good. And now, again, capsules floating around a little bit because the eye's not full of viscoelastic, rather just an AC maintainer is being used. So now we've got completed rexus. Looks pretty good. Let's cut here to the end of the case. And here's the eye well being delivered inside the capsule bag. And you can see the capsule bag has a little bit of posterior capsule wrinkling there. Let's see as the lens goes in what happens. Hey, did I tell you about cataractcoach.com, the website? Do you know there's a free 25-part curriculum series you can learn cataract surgery? There's a free PDF book. There's a daily email you can sign up for free also. Check us out on social media. And most of all, remember our podcast every Sunday with a brand new podcast. You will love it. Available everywhere. Now here at the end, finally getting that lens in position. And then um, once that goes in the capsule back, there it is. Now you can look at the capsule. When I'm looking at are those wrinkles on the posterior surface. Okay, some wrinkling there. Not an overly myopic patient. Again, single piece acrylic lens going in the bag looks like a Tecna style lens with six millimeter overall optic, five millimeter focusing optic. It looks pretty routine. So again, I haven't seen this in a long time. It's something unusual. Please leave a comment below. Help us out here. Why do you think this capsule is so thick and elastic and unusual? And have you seen this? And what's your best recommendation for us when we encounter this again in the future? Thanks for watching.